towards the dissociation equilibrium of a PCL5. The dissociation equilibrium of PCL5 in gaseous state is written here. PCL5 phosphorus pentachloride which gives phosphorus trichloride and dichloride or chlorine. Let A moles of PCL5 vapor be present in B litters initially. If X moles of a PCL5 dissociates to PCL3 and Cl2 gases at equilibrium at constant V litters then the molar concentration of PCL5, PCL3 and Cl2 gases at equilibrium will be A minus X divided by V, X divided by V and X divided by V respectively. I want to show you a peculiar design of the molecule. This is how the molecules are. How is it? It's looking good, right? So the, these are the kind of molecular structures uh, you are able to see in many organic chemicals, organic compounds. As you know, organic compound will be having carbon in it. A centralized carbon with uh, amended hydrogen atoms with uh, other chemicals, maybe chlorine or something like that. It can be acid or alcohol, a ketone or ester. GTEC provides you a 3D of how the chemicals are and the structure is in the chemical compounds or solution. I got my PCL3 divided into Cl2 divided by PCL5 will be getting X divided by V into X divided by V divided by A minus X divided by V. Cancelling the V here and here, you will be getting Kc is equal to X square divided by A minus X into V. But X is also known as the degree of dissociation, which represents the fraction of total moles of the reactant dissociator. So X equal to number of moles dissociated divided by total number of moles present initially. So Kc is equal to x squared divided by a minus x into v. If initially one mole of PCl5 is present then so replacing a with 1 you will be getting Kc is equal to x squared divided by 1 minus x into v. Since v is equal to so I am putting this v here and rt here p divided by rt is equal to 1 by v so you will be getting x square into p into 1 minus x into rt. In terms of partial pressure of PCL5, PCL3 and PCL2, you will be getting so kp is equal to p of PCL3 into p of Cl2 divided by P of PCL5 atmospheric pressure. So Kp is equal to x square into P divided by 1 minus x square atmosphere. If the degree of dissociation is small compared to unity then 1 minus x is approximately equal to 1.0. So Kc is equal to x square divided by V R. x square is equal to Kc into V. So x is directly proportional to root of v. Over here v is directly proportional to 1 by p. So x is directly proportional to root of 1 by p. Over here x is small and the degree of dissociation varies inversely as the square root of the pressure or varies directly as the square root of the volume of the system.